Look at that. Looks wow, it looks amazing. Hey guys, it's Taylor. We are so excited to announce our cheese. We are now selling our cheese sauce by itself. We have the original flavor here. We're selling them in 16 and 32 ounces and we're going to be coming out with sets of videos showing you things that you can do at home using the 16 and 32 ounce cheeses. We're also excited to announce our mac and cheese at home kits. And today, the recipe that we'll be making using the 16 ounce size, that's two cups of our cheese, um, is going to be a cheesy potato broccoli soup. Okay, so what we're gonna need today is two to three medium sized potatoes. I use these red potatoes. Um, a 16 ounce container of our cheese sauce, that's two cups worth. Uh, for those of you that bought the 32, you can measure that out. And a half of a red onion, one head of broccoli, and we're gonna chop everything up to about this size. Um, and I used a red onion, but I wish I would have had, or purple, but I wish I would have had a white one. But it's a pandemic, so I did what I could. We'll need three cups of water, a teaspoon of this vegetable bouillon, and we're ready to go. So you'll pour this into your pot, um, add the water, that's three cups of water, um, add the bouillon, um, add a little bit of salt. I did about a teaspoon of salt, and um, we're gonna mix it all around. Mix it up. And then we're gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna um, wait for it to boil and keep it the lid off until it's boiling. And it's almost getting there, looking good. <clears throat> I love all these different colors. Okay, so moving forward. We're gonna do half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, regular will work, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and we're gonna do a heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. This is to thicken the soup, and then I'm gonna mix it all up, uh, bring it down to a simmer, and I'm gonna put the lid on. And I'm gonna wait about um, 10 minutes, so you can set your alarm for about 10 minutes. And 10 minutes later, now I'm gonna take out um, most of the broth and about 80% of the soup and I'm gonna put it in a blender and blend it up. Wee! It should look like this. Um, kind of soupy, kind of watery. Uh, we're gonna add it back in and um, now we're going to add the cheese. So we'll bring the cheese over, pour it directly in there and then you're just gonna mix it all around. You want it to be very mixed um, just so that it evenly cooks and like even you get even flavors. And our sauce needs a little bit of time to thicken because of the ingredients. So you'll let it thicken. I'm adding some salt because we, um, yeah, we don't have a lot of salt in this. So if you do like things salty, I would just say salt to taste as you're letting it thicken and cook, just try it. And if you wanna add more salt, um, add more salt and it should be very flavorful and cheesy and delicious and if you want more like potatoes onions and broccoli floating around in there then only blend up half of the soup I did 80% um, because I, w I wanted mine like that but you can kind of do it however you want and there we go now you're going to add um, whatever toppings you want. So we're doing our um, bacon bits, green onions, and pepper. And you can check out our website, our recipe page, to find out how to make this um, bacon. We make it out of rice paper. It's delicious. Highly recommend. Thanks so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of it. Bye.